the House take note of miscellaneous business. Uh, Jan Logie. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I want to, in perhaps an unusual move for me, to congratulate New Zealand First and Minister Sepuloni for delivering on their coalition agreement for 150 frontline family violence services to get a pay well overdue pay increase. This really, really matters, and I am so proud to stand up in this House and offer you my congratulations. These organisations, despite the rhetoric from that side of the House, have not had an increase in core funding for almost a decade, and they are an essential part of our response to family violence. Without them, our response lacks expertise, heart and healing. In a country like ours, everyone deserves to be safe in their home. And yet, right now, about 5% of women in this country will be experiencing physical violence in their intimate relationship. Some men will also be victims, though much less likely than women to experience fear or a loss of or, control order, of their order, daily lives. Can I lives. ask members who are in the aisles or are standing up to sit down, Lisa Whips, please? Thank you. Police are called out to a family violent incident in this country about every four minutes, and children are present about 80 per cent of the time. And we know that this means for those children that can have a profound, lifelong impact unless we get those children and their families the right support. We can do better than this. Funding these agencies is important for victims. We need a range of services. We need to have services for people with disabilities, the elderly, men, migrants, LGBTQI people, Māori. We need a whole range of services. But just to give an indication to this House about what some of these services do, let me describe some of the work of Women's Refuge, where I used to work years ago. So on any given day, they might have a number of phone calls from women who are reaching out to them. They may be in immediate danger and needing to call the police, or they might be wanting to discuss, wanting better for their kids, but not being sure what they need to do, or they may be worried about an escalation of violence in their relationship. They are probably considering how to leave and how to keep their kids, but not knowing whether they can do that. It, they may be grappling with how to find a house, get money, manage their jobs, help their children find a new school and deal with the trauma of the violence, and how to tell their family, or even just how to help him stop the violence. The police might also call the refuge with one of the passing on the details and asking the refuge to contact one of the 400 women they're likely to be in contact with every day. And then the refuge will call up that woman and try, who's probably been trying to manage her own safety by herself for years. And they need to try and establish a report, a breakthrough for that woman to have a sense that actually there is somebody who can help them manage their safety and find a pathway to safety. Some of these women and kids will need to come into the refuge safe house. Others will need support out in the community to be able to deal with the range of agencies like Work and Income and Housing New Zealand and schools and courts and police, many of whom who will not understand what they are going through. The refuge does. And they might be trying to do all of this incredibly important, potentially life-saving work with, say, just two paid staff. I just want the House to think about that, of all of those lives. And there are two people, potentially, who are trying to manage all of those needs, all of those difficult conversations. It's clear that is not enough. 
But that is the consequence of the years of the previous government refusing to increase the funding to these frontline organisations. It has meant that the agencies have been juggling and many have been unable to adequately support the victims. But that all changes today. Yeah. <laughs> Honourable Judith Collins. Oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, does anyone remember?